Eat Dirt. Megan Deep Shock as Forbes on a K in top 100 powerful but kicked Duchess out of the circle. For leadership during the Ukraine war, as well as a handling of the COVID-19 pandemic, von der Leyen sits atop the 19th annual Forbes list of the world's 100 most powerful women. Her influence is unique. No one else on the list formulates policy on behalf of 450 million people. But her commitment to a free and democratic society is not. Von der Leyen is just one face of the biggest storyline of 2022, women acting as stalwarts for democracy. The list was determined by four main metrics, money, media, impact, and spheres of influence. For political leaders, we weighed gross domestic products and populations. For corporate leaders, revenues and employee counts, and media mentions and reach of all. The result is a collection of women who are fighting the status quo. The Duchess of Cambridge is the only member of the royal family on the list, and one of only three Brits, featuring alongside Oscar winner Daniel Day-Lewis and author Hilary Mantel. Time's bumper issue goes on sale this week and features a glowing review of each entrant written by another high-profile figure, Sally Smith, author of Elizabeth the Queen, The Life of a Modern Monarch, comments on Kate. Kate is able to make each person feel that they're being seen for the three seconds she talks to them, Foreman said. This projects immediacy and makes it feel intimate, which is amazing. There are people who simply can't do that. It's training plus innate talent. Catherine always does her homework and doesn't go on visits on a wing and a prayer. She's read the paper and puts in the effort. She's a hard-working person. It's a personal willingness to conform to the requirements of the institution. That sounds like an unappealing, unglamorous virtue, but it's an important one if you're going to be a successful cog in the royal wheel. Sally also praised Kate's innate fashion sense, saying her elegant wardrobe has enormous popular appeal that's boosted the British fashion industry. Beyonce and her husband Jay-Z represent the music world alongside stars such as Justin Timberlake and Frank Ocean. The pair were also named as music's first billion-dollar couple. First Lady Michelle Obama is another notable inclusion. She's profiled by poet and civil rights activist Maya Angelou, who praised the mum of two's humility. She's remained herself with her grace, her gentleness and a sense of humour, she said. After the covers were posted on Twitter, Sussex fans were quick to question where Meghan's cover was. The world despises Harry. The engagement is now 90% plus negative on everything they do. Companies are going to start feeling the blowback of associating with them. Their Q rating is dog shit wrapped in cat shit. Abandoned shit. She could have been the 101st one, but for the Forbes hierarchy, did they really believe they're a power couple? Where does this grandiosity come from when they have no class, no brain, no decorum? It's so easy to bring them down a peg. Several pegs, in fact. They've squandered everything they were given. Who can trust these two mythomaniacs? The scathing comment came from the royal expert Angela Levin, who blasted Meghan for saying she never felt a negative connotation behind the word ambitious before she met Prince Harry. Talking about Meghan's comment to Mail Online, Levin slammed, she would still be a D-list celebrity if she'd not married a prince. She added, she thought it was normal to be ambitious and only when she started dating Harry did she realise that it wasn't welcome. My goodness, that is a smack at Harry and a punch to the royal family. It's pertinent to mention Meghan's exact words during the Archetypes podcast. I don't remember ever personally feeling the negative connotation behind the word ambitious until I started dating my now husband.